Anger, fear, aggression. The dark side are they. Once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. Welcome to the Black Sun Syndicate, a division of the Colot Information Network. I am your host, Balin Skull, Mercenary for Hire. Today we're going to discuss my top cards from the aggression aspect from Spark of Rebellion. Um, there are a number of cards that I think are top tier in this, in this color. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to notice there are fewer of the villainy uh, cards than there are the heroic cards uh, because the heroic uh, aggressive cards are w way more powerful. Uh, so I'm going to start here with Fifth Brother. Um, it's an unassuming three drop. Um, uh, that's a 2-4 base that uh, gains raid one for each damage that it has on this character and on attack you may deal one damage to this character and one damage to another ground unit. Uh, this is useful even uh, you can even ping your own stuff because uh, it doesn't say enemy uh, so it's really good in decks um, like Krennic uh, or um, potentially even in uh, Inquisitor decks that you know, like to have their units damaged for whatever reason to up their power. This uh, ability is also very good to pop a shield when declaring him as an attacker. Um, I think he's a little underplayed so far, um, and being a, f a force user and imperial, so there's a lot of synergy there. Um, and just being able to uh, th do things like pick shields off and um, potentially giving your characters boosts uh, is very, very good. Uh, next up is one I consider a red staple for, uh, for the uh, aggressive villainy users, and that's Imperial Interceptor. Uh, it's a 3-2 space... Uh, Imperial unit that deals three to another space unit. Um, every um, deck is going to have some sort of space presence. Uh, this is very nice for either finishing off a unit that's already damaged uh, or just completely blowing it off the table. Um, again, I consider this a staple because you need ways to remove uh, your opponent's cards from play. And the fact that you have a unit that does it when you play it uh, makes for a very good tempo swing. Lastly, of the um, of villainy cards in this grouping is Force Choke. Um, a two cost um, action or um, that uh, costs one less if you control a Force unit. Uh, deal five damage to a non-vehicle unit and their, that unit's controller can draw a card. Um, this is as far as events go uh, only I am your father can do more and unfortunately your opponent can just simply say no and have you draw three cards. So this is probably the uh, uh, single biggest damage output from a single event um, currently in the game. Uh, I suggest playing it in uh, in any of the aggressive and villainy decks, uh, especially if you have force users. The discount can be relevant. All right, so there's a plethora of um, uh, heroic aggression cards. Um, that because it makes it makes uh, two of the aggro decks just completely go burr. Uh, we've got Sabine Rem, the unit version, uh, being a um, uh, slightly, uh, I'd say at rate, uh, as a two-three rebel, 
uh, with an on attack that she can deal one damage to either the defender if she's attacking something or to a base um, which is relevant you can get splash damage on the base while still taking out another unit you can use the on attack to blow a shield off before going into it which is also very relevant and then you also have the extra line of text um, that she cannot be attacked unless she gains sentinel if you control uh, at least three other aspects among fr other friendly units so if you have another uh, aggression heroic and whatever your third color is she can't be attacked it is very good um, all around a good card uh, this one is very high up on my list as must remove immediately from table uh, fighters for freedom uh, a 3-4 for 3 rebel trooper with saboteur um, right there is a good value uh, but his second ability is when you play another uh, aggressive card you may deal one damage to a base the fact that they have that stapled on the same card uh, is ridiculous and, and it is amazing um, particularly in many of the aggro decks that you're going to see they're heavy red and so you're going to get to, if it's not removed from the field of play immediately this can usually get two to three pings in and that's just enough reach a lot of times for a game to end next up is red three um, this is one of the staple rares of the aggressive decks um, a two three space unit a rebel with raid one uh, so he's hitting for three on attack and each other friendly heroic unit gains rate one um, Spoilers most of the decks that you're going to be building with this card in it are going to be um, uh, You're you're going to have the majority of your uh, units being uh, have heroic as an aspect uh, Again, this is another must answer because if it stays on the table for more than a turn especially if they have multiple other units in play the game just ends too quickly uh, k2so um, so uh, this is another rare staple in they say in the aggressive decks uh, a 4-4 four, for four, 4 is I will say right on rate there are some that are slightly better statted uh, but because of the ability, I understand why it wasn't. Uh, it has Overwhelm. Uh, for those who play Magic, that's Trample. So any excess damage is dealt to the base if you're attacking a unit. When defeated, for each opponent, choose one. Either deal three damage to that player's base, or that player discards a card from their hand. Spoiler alert, you want them to uh, take three. <laughs> because you're trying to get them... You're trying to get them uh, to 25 or 30 damage as fast as possible. Now, the typical best plays with this card involve <coughs> uh, Heroic Sacrifice, uh, which lets you attack with a unit, give it a plus 2, plus 0 buff, uh, draw a card, and then when the attack finishes, you get to destroy K2SO. Um, so if you swing into base with that for six and then he blows himself up he's done nine to the base uh, that's almost a third of the 30 hit point health and that's just crazy uh, another another big play that tends to happen with this is using um, an energy conversion lab ambushing him into play uh, killing an, you know destroying an opponent's unit dealing a little uh, overwhelm damage and then k2so typically um, destroying himself in the attack and dealing through to the base lastly of the 
uh, heroic aggressive cards is for a cause I believe in. Um, being a uh, real top four cards of your deck for each heroic card revealed this way, deal one damage to the enemy base. You may discard any number of the revealed cards and put the rest back on top of your deck in any order. So in the right deck, this card is going to be pay three, deal four damage to your opponent's base. Um, and spoiler alert, most of those, most of the uh, heroic aggressive decks like Sabine, like Leia, are going to be running um, almost almost every card having the heroic symbol on it. So it's going to be three to four damage every time you play one. So if you get into a I won't, uh, into a uh, stalemate in a particular zone, maybe one where your opponent doesn't have any healing, you can fire off a couple of these and probably finish them off. Uh, having this much reach is why the, these cards are very good and why it's in my top 10. Alright, let's get to the uh, aggressive cards that both sides can play. Uh, Benthic Two Tubes is a one-drop 2-2 two -two Rebel Trooper. Uh, on attack, another fr friendly aggressive unit gains Raid 2. Um, this card is um, obviously a little susceptible. I mean, a one-drop 2-2 two -two is, is above rate. Um, it does have a Rebel keyword, which is relevant. Uh, particularly in the Leia deck, uh, if you can attack with two tubes or use Leia's ability uh, to attack with a rebel, you attack with two tubes. Then you attack with another. You give the red uh, your aggressive rebel uh, like red three, um, uh, raid two, and then you attack with the second unit. You know you can do eight to ten damage in one in one swing or in one of your actions uh, which is huge um, having the trooper keyword is also very relevant if you're playing uh, a villainy side like with particularly somebody like maybe Tarkin um, that um, you've got a lot of uh, got a lot of troopers you've got uh, General Tagi uh, to pass out experience tokens um, uh, yeah as long as you have more aggressive uh, cards in or characters in your deck uh, the the value of this is very good and makes your opponent get rid of this before it gets out of hand all right force throw um, uh, pay one, choose a player, that player uh, discards a card from their hand, then if you control a force unit, you may deal damage to a unit equal to the cost of the discarded card. Um, for me, um, when I am building my decks, I am building, uh, building it where I can play force throw and disc and target myself to discard a big unit to take a big unit off the field um, because hey you may not make it to seven resources eight resources nine resources but you want something big of theirs off the off the table um, that's the whole reason to have this uh, certainly in certain matchups you can target your opponent and if they've got big powerful cards in it uh, then great you can actually get a card out of their hand and take care of a unit uh, but for me I have built my decks in, in a, such a manner where I can get some good efficiency off this card and it's one of the few cards that you can actually take out a high number of leader cards with uh, just this card and the card you discarded which is really good value um, 
I think Vader is the hardest one to take off the board because he has a toughness. Um, or at least the ones that I played. Because um, there's not a lot of a cost units I want to throw at people. Alright guys, uh, that is my list of the top 10 aggressive cards. Um, what do you think of my list? Do you disagree with it? my choices? If you do, leave a comment down below on what you thought I got wrong or missed and why. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, no matter the game, there is no escape from the tiger.